One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and what I've got today for you is a beautiful 1994 Chevrolet G20 van. This is a one owner van, and it's only got 110 and change on it. And tell you the truth, I believe these G20 vans and vans like this are some of the best deals that you could possibly find. They always run much cheaper than a Chevy pickup. You got a 350. You can haul a heck of a lot more stuff in this van. You can lock it up and people won't steal it. Well, they just take the whole van if they want your stuff. But beautiful van. I'm going to go around and sh do the once around. Then I'll show you any minor details, flaws, stuff like that. Like on the back, you can see I got a piece of trim missing there. And um, California van. I got my Montana demo plate on it. I might take this thing back to Montana. Um, God, there's just such clean, clean cars in California. And it's all highway miles. I used to think, ah, highway miles, what's the difference? Well, the difference is Montana, we ain't got no sales tax, so our roads ain't exactly the same way they are in California. They kind of beat the heck out of the cars, if you're even on a road in the car. They've got roads going everywhere down here. And these vans and cars that I get are just clean. And I love a one-owner thing like this. So, one-owner car guy, I'll ship this anywhere in the world. I'm going to go run up close here real quick now, and I'll show you underneath um, kind of what I like doing. I like showing underneath. Pans. It takes a second for my camera to catch up with me here. There we go. All that stuff. Nice tires on it. Oil pan and everything looks good. And I'm sure you'll find a damp gasket or something somewhere. But it is not leaking all over the place or anything. Still got undercoating everywhere on it like crazy. Um, this one actually has the muffler running down the other side. I'm just taking my pictures. I like to show the trannies, tranny pan and such. And it took me, went to the other side and realized I'm blocked by the muffler. It's kind of reversed. So, tranny. Whoo, buddy. Looked like they put a high torque starter on it or something. I guess that might be factory by this year. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, it's clean, it's nice, it's in great shape. Tires and, yeah, there's 45, 50% left. They're a Uniroyal Tiger Paw. On there. Dayton on the back. And, well, that's that. I'm going to do what I normally do, start where I normally start, even though I kind of lost track and got off where I don't normally get off. And I'll show you the sides. Um, like I say, you're missing this piece of trim here. And going down the sides, they're very straight. Very straight. Little ding. Hey, it said ding right as my phone started ringing. And I accidentally answered it. Sir, I'll call you right back. I accidentally answered. I'm taking a video and I'll be done in about 10 minutes. And you can see um, a little bit of damage from where the door rubs when it opens and kind of chip the paint off over time and stuff. Paint, like you drop some paint, a painter's inside paint, latex paint. And actually, it will pick off. Um, great shape. A couple of little scratches in the door here. Marks. I guess they wouldn't be scratches, just marks. That's a scratch. But going down the sides, it's really straight and smooth. Them couple little outro dings. Small crack in it right there. Ding here. Not really noticeable unless you really start looking though. A bit of the little piece of rubber there has kind of came off right around the trim of that. Probably replace the windshield at some point. It looks really nice. Um, so bright out today. Woo! Fading on this piece. A guy could get a thing of hammered paint or something and paint that up silver to look a lot better. Um, I didn't do anything like that. I left it. A little bit of fading on the black inside the grill there. It's even got the bumper pulls. A little bit of overspray on that from yellow. So I know we've had, there was a little bit of, he crunched the door right here, and I had this part painted and matched. And as you can see, there's a little bit on that seal right there, blue seal. 
And a guy could do something in the door here if you wanted in the door jams. But getting in and out type stuff and all that. It's got a little wear off. A couple of little cracks in the paint right there. So it's definitely been painted before. Uh, but it's in great shape. Looks nice. A little chip here. A little chip here. And I'll make sure and try and show this in a different light too. And I'll bet you, I think my ex-wife wiped this one down. I bet you she couldn't get the center. Yeah. She can't reach the center as well. But it's very smooth and not all rusted out everywhere or nothing. Nice clean work van. And no matter what, I guess I was going to open it right here. But I'll show you up top. It's a little bit better up there for the inside. Um, well, that's your once around. That's your twice around. That's your underneath around. It's all kinds of rounds. Now, I'm going to go on my test drive with you. Um, we'll go up to the house, pop the hood, open the doors up, and show you what we got here. Uh, if you're looking for a van like this, I've got a couple others probably at this time. Right now I've got a Ford high top, and I've got a uh, GMC G20 high top just like this. But anyways, I'm taking off. Go show you up here. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Make sure to subscribe. I get lots of clean, unique, one and two owner Classic Euro, muscle, cars, trucks, SUVs, vans. 110614. Now I've been getting myself in a deal here where I forget to take a picture. So I'm trying to take them there while I do this and hoping that it shows up. Airbags. Wow. That's kind of cool. Got the factory books. Show you that stuff up at the house. God, they use this steering wheel on a lot of stuff. And I'll tell you what, a van like this with a 350 in it, you don't even put your foot on the pedal. You just barely touch it and you are just rolling along. Plenty of power. I'll slow down to about 20 here. I'm not even going to give it a downshift, man. It's right back up at 40 like it's no thing. So, and that's the speed limit here on this road. I like to go extra slow over this bump and then give it, give it the juice coming down this hill. Everybody probably says, there's a guy again and something else. And it's right now power, man. Just a light vehicle. Pull anything you want. Pull anything you want. Can we make the turn in a one point turn? Oh, we sure can, baby. That's harder to do with a stretch cab pickup. Well, I was going to show you the. It'd be better, I'll just show you up top here. I've used this for some Costco runs and a uh, junkyard run. I needed uh, some parts, a uh, bumper part down there. Great van. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, show you the innards. Show you the end of the hood. You can check out my channel. Like I think there's about 900 videos on there now, and you can see all kinds of unique stuff. Let's see here. Where are we going? We got it. We can go up here. Going up a hill sometimes. It seems like it should be a bit more of a kick down. Depends on what speed you're going at, though, of course. All your codes. Ice cold AC, baby. Yes, it is. Radio. For just four nights. Now, this one has some unique options. It's a very unique rig. Why do I say that? I say that because you got crank windows. Here's a unique option for you. A door handle on your window crank. 
Yeah, baby. Not as easy to go the roll around with the, but it works. I don't know how that got there. It wasn't me. Brake pad is missing. Cheap on eBay. I should probably have replaced it, but I didn't. As you can see, there's no wear on this rubber matting, and it wears out pretty fast. A little wear here, you can tell from just resting your foot there. This driver's seat is in great shape, just absolutely beautiful. Not all tore up in any way. That is your worst little thing, like he hopped in with his keys in his pocket. And this little piece over here. <laughs> the, I'll show you the other one in a second. Dome light. Rubber matting all the way back. Ooh. Marks from probably the latch. Oh, it was when they had the um, the hinge messed up because we actually put a new hinge on it also. Um, and as you can see, it looks nice. And you really could never tell unless I told you. And you know there's a couple marks on the bumper here that you can see. And it's probably dented. Right there. Not probably, it is. I can see it from the side now that I look. Not a lot, not noticeable, but I want to show you. Be totally up front with it. And as you can see, it's hard to see any dingage or anything. I get a lot of crank calls. Especially with my unique words that aren't words. What's up, girl? Yeah, I know, I know. We'll play when I get done, okay? Yeah, she thinks that if I'm talking, well, heck. Must be. I hope I didn't ruin that one. I just ran over it, I think. That'll be a test, huh? That's scary. I think I had information on there I needed. A couple chips down here. And let me show you the passenger side. Oh, here's your auto check. 22 to 41, it scored a 61. What, 200% higher than the low and 50% higher than the high? Woo, buddy! I check out a lot of things on my car, starting with underneath. I love to check underneath. Why? Come on, if it's got more motor oil and grease and stuff strewn from the front to the back, Obviously, it hasn't been maintained. I like things that have been maintained and people that take them in. And I try to verify it the best I can. This guy sure didn't drive this truck much. Not much at all. And 105, 287, 6.910. Just a great truck. <clears throat> Auto check. Let's open this up. Couple holes. Wear marks. What's up, girl? We think we go for a ride? Uh, in the rubber matting there. So I don't know if you'd replace it. It's an actual GM mat. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. My favorite sitcom. So I've got all the manuals. What sitcom? Pretty, pretty. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Cool show. Gotta love that show. I like the Larry David movies, too. Don't know who Larry David is. I get that, I get that a lot, actually. Larry David's the other dude that created Seinfeld. Larry David has a lot of money. Larry David needs a van like this. And we just clean this up. You can see it's got some uh, shoe marks and stuff. And you kind of just blast it out and clean it up, which is what we did uh, with the power washer and cleaned it all up and put the mat back in. And you can see underneath, did they take it? No, they did not take this out. They just wiped it. That's right. All right now, all right now. There's no rust underneath. Did you get a little corrosive right there on top? Corrosion. Beautiful. Man. There's overspray on that hinge. Chipped up around the edges. Still got all them stickers. 
20 year old stickers. There's no spare in there. Hang on a second. No jack, maybe. Let's take a look. No, it's no spare. I didn't know if the spare bolts are underneath these. Or what? Okay, I gotta do the hood for you. Yeah, I'm walking in circles just a little bit here. I'm sorry. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Yeah, like I say, these steering wheels, they put them on a lot of stuff. Roadmasters and um, even a LeSabre, I think. Pickup trucks. We're going to have to back this up. You're not going to be able to see what I see, maybe. Yeah, it's just a little too dark, so I'll show you both ways. We'll back up, get you an outro. 5.7 liter, baby. Let me back this thing up for you. This thing. This sweet one owner van. Anti-lock. Airbag. Breeder out of the way. That right there should do it, man. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And make sure and subscribe. Comment. Like. Talk to me. I like talking. Talking to my subscribers, they tell me things that I don't know. Aluminum intake manifold by this year. Hey, is this a LT one with a different injection? I don't know what this is. Hey, big, big link one and big crow fly. You guys know your Chevys, man. You don't say Roadmaster or Fleetwood in the title, though, so you might not look. Nah, you'll look. You guys are Chevy freaks, too. You like it. I, I like these Chevy trucks. And, you know, I am more of a Ford truck fan, I guess. But when it comes to these half-ton little 350s, it is one of the best, most reliable, easy, and cheap to work on motors there is. In fact, embarrassing thing, I have 35 Smoking the Bandit Trans Ams left. And I had about 85 of them at one point. And, um, well, here, i got to show you this. I kind of built my 400, left it sitting outside the, van, the car, and I put a 350 with a blower on it because it's so much cheaper to build a 350. But, cereal marshmallows. www.cerealmarshmallows.com. Lots of these. You'll, you like them, huh, Breeder? And that's that. But one owner car guy for the cars. Hi, girl. And check out my site there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'm trying to think if there's anything I forgot to mention or anything, and I can't think of it. Uh, make sure you... I, I got a game going on here in a while, and I got a contest. And there's a few of these videos in the last five, six, seven. Let's say in the last ten videos, there's been about three hints. And there's going to be a, five questions. And whoever gets all this stuff right, man, they're going to be on top of it with the prizes. Thanks for watching. Pay attention. Watch my videos. Subscribe, comment, link, like, share. Yeah, do it to it. Add me on Facebook. I'll throw some links down in the description. Just click the little thing. Subscribe things. Oh, they moved it down there now, I think. I don't know. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.